the heart of a vast kingdom, there lived a king whose greatest desire was to find a worthy successor to his throne. To test the mettle of his three sons, he devised a challenge. Whoever could bring him the most beautiful and precious thing in the world would inherit the kingdom. The eldest son, driven by ambition, set out to find the most exquisite jewel. The second son, motivated by greed, sought the rarest treasure. But it was the youngest son, humble and pure of heart, who stumbled upon a humble bee. This bee, however, was no ordinary insect. It was a magical creature, blessed by the fairy queen herself. Guided by the bee, the youngest son embarked on a journey filled with trials and challenges. Along the way, he encountered a talking fox, a ferocious lion, and a treacherous giant, each demanding a share of his provisions. Through wit and kindness, the youngest son outsmarted his adversaries and earned their friendship. As they journeyed deeper into the enchanted forest, the bee led the youngest son to a magnificent castle shrouded in mystery. Inside, he discovered a garden unlike any other, where precious gems glistened in the moonlight and flowers bloomed in every hue imaginable. At the heart of the garden stood the queen bee herself, surrounded by her loyal subjects. Moved by the beauty and grace of the queen bee, the youngest son approached her with reverence and offered her a simple token of his gratitude. Touched by his sincerity, the queen bee revealed her true form a radiant fairy queen and bestowed upon him the most precious gift of all, the secret to true happiness. With this newfound wisdom, the youngest son returned to his father's kingdom and presented the queen bee as his gift. The king, recognizing the purity of his son's heart, declared him the rightful heir to the throne. And so, the kingdom prospered under the rule of a wise and compassionate king. Guided by the lessons learned from the humble queen bee, the tale of the queen bee serves as a timeless reminder that true wealth and happiness lie not in material riches, but in the purity of one's heart and the kindness shown to others.